You guys, I'm so excited today. To catch you up briefly, we're moving to South Loop. Alex and I are moving into our loft we own down here. We bought it as an investment property. It's always had a tenant. Tenant's moving out. We're moving in temporarily while we continue searching for a like long-term condo for us to live in. This one's really tiny, so it's a short-term option, but I'm getting ahead of myself. I have not stepped foot in this loft since we closed on it in the end of 2022. So I have not been there in so long. And today we are going in, that was loud. Today we're going by, the tenant still lives there, but we're going in with a contractor to see if we can make some of the renovations and updates to it that we want to. So I'm not gonna be able to film in there very much just because our tenant's still in there and I'm gonna be respecting her privacy. But I'm so, so, so excited just to finally see the space for the first time and to be able to envision us actually living in it, which we've never done. You guys, it's so cool. Oh my gosh. I am just absolutely obsessed with that space. I'm super excited to get my own little mitts in there and be able to set it up the way that I would. It is honestly just a really cool, beautiful space. And I can't wait. I can't wait. That's it. That's all it comes down to. It went really well with the contractor. I'm excited to see. We don't have pricing or anything yet. So like that's obviously going to be a big part is just see like what kind of money we can put in towards this place and how far that money will go. But it's going to be really cool to be able to make some changes and put our own twist on it. I'm so excited. Alex and I are grabbing some lunch now. There's a Thai place that's nearby. And so grabbing some Thai food. I've been craving Thai for a couple days. Also, I have a meetup tonight. I feel like I should have started the vlog with that. Why didn't I talk about the meetup earlier? If you're new here, I host events where people who are new to the city or just people who are looking to make new friends can all come together and meet other people also looking to make new friends. I've done like five or six of them. They're super successful. Like people's stories of like coming away with friendships from them are really cool because you're basically put in a room with 50 other people who all raise their hands saying, yes, I want new friends as well. So it kind of just takes away that like intimidation factor. I'm hosting one of them tonight. It's at Benchmark in Old Town and I'm really excited just to see all the faces and it, it it's like one of my favorite things. So we'll take you along for that too. But first I'm eating noodles. Neediest boy. Where's he going? He's being crazy. Whoa, you're very cute. You're adorable. You're very adorable. You guys, I am so excited to move into that space. Like, I can't stop thinking about it. I just am like, <laughs> come here. I like am looking around my apartment, just like planning everything now. I'm like, okay, I'm gonna get rid of this. I'm gonna keep this. These are coming. This is where this will go. Like, I just think it's gonna be such a cool space. I think we're gonna do really, really well with it and I'm feeling really optimistic. So I can't freaking wait to just be able to get in there and start making changes and move in and have it be a whole thing. It's like two o'clock now, my meetup starts at six. We'll probably head up towards there around like 5.30, but I'm very tired and I love the meetups. I absolutely love them, but it definitely is like socially exhausting for me because I 
greet every single person I talk to every single person which is great I love it but by the end I'm like pooped so I'm gonna try and take a quick little nippity nap now in preparation so I can be extra peppy on the way there I think I also have a Celsius in the fridge and I'll probably drink that after my nap of course okay bye I have napped, I'm revived, I drank like half a grape Celsius, and wow, my forehead is so shiny. I should probably have redone my makeup a little bit, but that's okay. Anyways, we're like 20 minutes out from the meetup, so we just ordered our Uber to head up there. I have the name tags and everything, I'm so excited. I think this one's gonna turn out to be a really good one, we have a lot of signups and stuff. And we just haven't done this, I think, since fall, so. It's long overdue, and I'm very excited just to see all the people and help facilitate making some new friends in the city. approximately six minutes ago immediately put on my pajamas and washed my face i did that so rapidly i did not even give myself a beat i am on cloud nine my social battery is fully drained from talking to 70 something of you but that was just such a success these friend meetups are ah I just love them so much. As I'm walking through the crowd, I'm talking to the different people who have started like different groups and legitimately all came in and did not know each other. And hearing you guys like chat and make plans and just like people connecting. Since the pandemic, it's been so hard to connect with other people in ways that used to be way more organic. To be able to have an event that facilitates that so well, I just think it's so cool. And I kept telling people at the event like, I really like this setup because I used to do Bumble BFF dates and it worked out great. Like I made some of my best friends from Bumble BFF, but something like that, you're in a one-on-one -on -one situation with somebody else. And so it's much more like intimidating. And if you don't vibe with them, it's like a lot of time to spend with somebody. Whereas something like this, there are 70 people there. And so you can float around. And if you don't feel like you're vibing with someone, just like keep moving on. Like you will find somebody who you click with. And I think that that is just a really, really cool aspect. So if you showed up to my event, thank you so much. I appreciate it. I'm going to be doing more of them. I think I'll probably do another one in like May, June. We'll see. If you want to come to one of those events, you're going to want to follow me on Instagram because that's where I post about it the most. But such a success and I'm just like so happy. Thanks so much for watching. I'm going to go watch Twilight for the first time and I'll see you next time. Thank you.